Hi, I'm Henry. Today I'll be presenting uh, Ghostwriter, Cache Coherence for Error Tolerance Applications. As an overview, cache coherence is used to keep data coherent in multi-core processors. However, communication of data is expensive. The limited power budget makes us look to new processor paradigms. In this case, we look at approximate computing. Our contribution is Ghostwriter, a cache coherence protocol that introduces approximate store instructions and approximate coherence states. We see up to 50% savings in dy dynamic energy of the interconnection network and memory system, and also see up to 37% speed up. Cache coherence is a mechanism to keep data coherent between private caches in a multiprocessor. Usually, cache coherence protocols follow two invariants, the single writer and multiple reader invariant, which means that each datum can only have multiple readers, but only a single writer, and the data value invariant, meaning that the start of every read must have the data from the previous write. This ensures that each core of the processor gets the most up-to-date value. Coherence operates on the cache line granularity. However, this, this can cause uh, detrimental sharing patterns called false sharing. We can use a two core example to highlight this behavior. So suppose initially core zero and core one both share the same cache line. Coherence would call this state shared because the data is clean and they're shared between two different private caches. If core, uh, core zero wants to access the blue data, core one wants to access the red, red data. They're accessing di different memory, uh, memory addresses, but both reside in the same cache line. If core zero wants to first do a store, that means a coherence protocol would have to invalidate core one's copy because now core zero's copy will be modified. After invalidating, the coherence protocol can transition core zero's copy into the modified state and eventually complete the store. If course one now wants to either read or write to the red memory address, then it'll result in a miss because the coherence protocol now says this line is invalid. And this highlights false sharing. Core zero and core one could be accessing different pieces of data. However, the coherence protocol forces all subsequent access, accesses to miss due to um, invalidations. Prior work has tried to minimize coherence misses in various ways. On the software side, there's false sharing detection and repair. And the hardware side, there's silent stores and various coherence optimizations. For our work, we try to apply approximate computing to cache coherence. Approximate computing is for error tolerant applications where we trade off output accuracy for better performance and energy. These approximate computing techniques can be applied across the stack from software to hardware or code design as well. Approximate applications show high value similarity. Value similarity is the high occurrence of similar values within an application. We can use a measure called D distance to measure value similarity. This allows D lower bits to be different between two different values. So using an example is one distance to classify value similarity. Values 14 and 15 in binary can be considered similar because their least significant bit is different. However, if we consider values 13 and 15, these cannot be considered similar using one distance because the lower two bits are different. We look at value similarity within approximate applications within the Axe Bench and Phoenix Benchmark Suites. These charts show cumulative distributions. So on the x-axis is a measure of d distance to measure value similarity, and the y-axis is the percent of values that are similar using the d distance. So as d distance increases, allowing the lower bits to be different between two values, we see that the, the, the percent of values similarity increases. Uh, we measure value similarity of store values, so the store value that's incoming and the value that's already present in the cache. What we notice is that on average, over 22% of the store values have zero distance. This means that the store values is exactly the same as what's already in the cache line. So we use this observation to exploit value similarity to mitigate coherence misses. Thus, we propose Ghostwriter, which is a cache coherence protocol for error tolerance applications and exploits inherent value similarity to mitigate false sharing. We build Ghostwriter off of baseline MESI protocol. For the conventional protocol, stores will miss on the invalid and shared states. 
the store misses will send get X and upgrade requests to get the cache line into the modified state. These requests will invalidate other copies, causing misses on subsequent accesses. The ghostwriter protocol extends the MESI protocol by adding two new approximate states, G sub i and G sub s. These allow stores on approximatable data in the states i and s. Approximatable data is determined by a user-defined D distance. We also introduced uh, approximate store instructions, which we call scribbles. Scribbles annotate which data is approximatable and can be done through, prog through programmer annotations or through the compiler. We can demonstrate the operations of the Ghostwriter protocol through migratory sharing patterns. But first, I'll go over how the conventional protocol works with migratory sharing. We have three cores, and each core wants to do a load, then a store. We first assume that all cores share the same cache line in the shared state. First, core 0 wants to do a store. However, the cache line is in shared state. So we'll have to send an upgrade request to get it into the modified state. The upgrade request gets received by the directory and then sends out subsequent invalidation requests to the sharers. These sharers will get their cache lines invalidated and the core zero's cache can transition to the modified state. Eventually, it'll be able to complete the store and store its data. Now core one wants to do a load. However, the cache line is in invalid state. So we send a get s request to get the shared uh, coherence, uh, coherence state. The directory gets the get s request and sends it to core zero to get the most up-to-date data. The data gets transferred from core zero to core one, and now the coherence states transition to shared for both core zero and core one. Now core one wants to store the data. However, the cache line is in shared state and it will miss again. So we'll send an upgrade request and invalidate all shares. Now that cache zeros, um, the cache line is invalidated, core one can store its data in the modified state. Core two does the same thing as core one and wants to load. However, it's in the invalidate state. So we'll have to send a get shared request to the directory and get the most up-to-date data from core one. Core one will transfer its data and now core one and core two will share that cache line. Core two then wants to do a store. However, it's in shared state, so it will miss again. We send an upgrade request and invalidate all shares. Now core two gets it in the modified state and can complete its store. We can see that all loads and misses from these three cores miss because of the coherent states. And this is inefficient. Ghostwriter is able to mitigate some coherence misses. We start the example again after core zero has completed its store to the cache line. Core one will want to do a load. Again, it will send a get s request and the core zero with the most up-to-date data will forward its data to core one. Core one will now want to do a load. However, if it knows its load is on approximatable data and it's within the user-defined D distance, the store can be transformed into a scribble, an approximate write. Core one will be able to directly write its value into G sub S state. Note how we didn't have to send a get upgrade request and nor did we have to invalidate any other copies. Core one now holds a locally modified version of the, the cache line. If core zero wants to do a load, it will not it will not miss since its cache line is in shared state. It'll be able to directly get the data. That's how Coast Writer saves coherence misses if data is approximate. The approximate state G sub S will transition back into a conventional invalid state when upon receiving an invalidation request. For example, if core zero wants to complete a store and the data is not approximatable, then we will send an upgrade request and then the G sub S state will be invalidated. In addition to the Ghostwriter protocol, we also have to modify the cache controller. We had a new module called the scribe, which is the most significant bit comparator to compare store values with cache block values. If the values are within the user-defined D distance, then stores can be converted to scribbles or approximate stores. Ghostwriter introduces error, computation error in several ways. 
One is the invalidation of the approximate states or the timeout of the G sub i state. When different cores are updating values in the approximate states at different times, and when approximated blocks are replaced or evicted. However, we are operating on approximate applications that are error tolerant. So these uh, computation errors are acceptable. We evaluate Ghostwriter using Gen5 full system. We simulate a machine with 24 in order cores and test D distance settings of four and eight. This chart shows the amount of dynamic energy saved within the memory hierarchy and interconnection network. Linear regression shows considerable amounts of false sharing due to migratory sharing patterns. We can save up to 50% dynamic energy in linear regression. JPEG also has considerable savings as well due to producer consumer sharing and migratory sharing. On average, we have 11% dynamic energy saved. For speed up, linear regression also shows the most speed up, up to 37%. On average, we get 6.5%. Ghostwriter can introduce uh, error during running the application, but note that we only see a maximum of 0.1% error in JPEG benchmark, which is notably low. As a summary, we proposed a cache coherence protocol for error tolerance applications called Ghostwriter. We introduced approximate store instructions called scribbles and approximate coherence states. You can see up to 50% savings in dynamic energy and up to 37% speed up in approximate applications. Thank you.